Hey guys, I'm back. This is Heather Hope with Conscious Creating with Heather Hope. Okay, so I'm on another camera. This is actually, um, this was actually my um, podcast setup, my, my real stuff. So I'm still not even in my YouTube studio yet. Isn't that crazy? So welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My Obviously, my name is Heather, and I have been a manifestation coach for several years now. Um, and I took the last year off, but I'm back stronger than ever. I'm super excited with everything that um, I've learned this past year. And hopefully everything's working correctly because I didn't even check it. I just plugged it in and said I still want to talk. Um, so in today's video, I really want to just take a moment. We're going to do a short video today. A moment to talk about how do you talk about money? How do you think about money? Because I want to remind people that you really have to clean up how you talk and think about money. So I was reading a comment in one of the groups and somebody's saying like, well, what do you do when people talk about money and whatever? Well, I, I you know, I have some friends in my life that, well, people who know me know or people who know me <laughs> but don't really know everything that I do um friends of mine who are kind of don't really know the ins and outs of my 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 work life um they've seen me not work a job in many years and they see me living a pretty good life <laughs> and they're wondering wait a minute like how do you like they don't really know they know I have like several businesses they just can't put it together but I, I come across as somebody who quite possibly, possibly, I may have some money, but I come across that way. So <clears throat> talk about, we talk about the 3D in uh, Law of Assumption, right? The 3D and how the 3D is what's happening right now. So what's, what's happening right now, the manifestation that's happening right now. But what we're thinking about is, I believe, the 5D. Like, what we're thinking about is what's going to come in. Whatever we're thinking about is going to eventually come in and be our 3D reality. And so I'm looking at this because I've always, you know, done affirmations. I've always written. I've always felt, always done so many different things to feel wealthy. Like, I've always had money. I've always been able to have money. I've always... You know, when I look back over my life, you know, more often than not, I had money. At least, like, I never, like, I always had at least enough, and a lot of times more. And so I don't, like, I never really considered myself to be poor, ever. Um, to be honest, I was born into a wealthy family. So I love using that as part of my affirmations of like, I was born into a wealthy family. I am part of a wealthy family, um, that sort of thing. But um, I grew up middle class. I grew up, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, I went to college, have some degrees, got a good job, all that good stuff. Um, but when, when your 3D people, people in your 3D are reflecting back to you how you feel about yourself is a wonderful thing when it's when it's really about something that's like well I'm not one to ever say I don't have enough money I'm not one to ever say something is expensive I will correct myself in that in the middle of saying the word expensive I will correct them and say well it costs more than something else or it costs maybe it costs more than I'd like to spend because you know Rich people don't always want to spend, like a lot of times they don't want to spend money on things. <laughs> so I want to just take this moment to ask you, how are you talking about money? Like with your friends, with your family, with whatever, because so often people slip in those moments, especially when other people are like, oh, um, when people complain about not having enough money, I see it all the time. I hear it all the time. 
but how are you responding? Like, are you saying the same things to them just to, you know, relate, just to be a part of that? Are you, you know, because I see it all the time. I see it all the time and people will never hear those words from me. They just won't because I took them out of my vocabulary a long time ago. And I just say, because I know that if you just say stuff like, say you want something and you don't have the money for it at the moment. So you know what? The money will come. The money will come for this. The money will come. Doesn't that sound better than, oh, I never have enough money. <sighs> you know, things cost so much. Um, all these things that people say, right? Just, you have to stop saying them because you, no matter how many affirmations you just do, of like I'm wealthy, I'm a millionaire, whatever. If you, you're going to counteract them. This is why people stay stuck. You're going to counteract them with, I never have enough money. You know, whatever you think about in this moment, because all you have is this moment right now, right now. It's always right now, right? This moment right now is what you have. So you have to pay attention to where you are moving what direction you're moving in with your thoughts and your in your statements, your words, because your path is unfolding with every statement that you make. So you could be like, I never have enough money. Oh, I'm a millionaire. Well, where are you going to go? You're going to just stay right there. Like you're not moving anywhere with those statements or you move one direction that you don't want to be in. And then you move the other direction and then you just like you're zigzagging on your path and you're not going to get there very fast. So if you stop the negative thinking about money and just focus on, I always have more than enough. I'm a millionaire, whatever the affirmations are for you that you, that you like. Um, I love money. Money loves me. I'm a money magnet, whatever, maybe more general statements like that. Um, you have to stay focused on all your thoughts, all your conscious thoughts. Don't worry about the subconscious. Don't worry about anything else. You, you are in charge of your conscious mind, you. So that means the, the, the statements that you think and the statements that you say are a hundred percent up to you. So this is part of the mental diet that Neville talks about. This is hardcore mindset that I talk about. This is like, do you want what you want? Yes, you do. Then you have to get serious with it. You have to, you have to be like, no, you know, if somebody complains, the thing is, eventually you're going to stop attracting these people. You're going to stop creating these people because with everyone as you pushed out, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of people that say things are expensive. It's once in a blue moon. And, you know, I have a good friend that says, you know, he's doing very well financially, but because he still has this old story of growing up poor, he still says that he's poor. And I yell at him every time. I said, never say that again. And he's not taking me seriously. He needs to start taking me seriously because his business is finally getting big, finally making money, fine, like making good money. It's finally happening over a decade and it could have gotten good 10 years ago. It could have, if the mindset was right, the mindset comes first, which is what we talk about self-concept, right? Your self-concept around everything. So my self-concept around money is I'm wealthy. I'm a wealthy woman. I have millions in the bank. I can buy anything I want. I drive amazing cars. I have multiple homes in multiple states. Um, I have two jets. I have, like, I have this whole storyline going on in my head that I've had for a while now around money. I have a self concept around love. I have a self concept around you know, relation. What is this hair doing over here? I have self-concept around all this stuff, but my self-concept around money is at the very least, it's getting better. Things are getting better. I'm making more each month, that sort of thing. Affirmations that I specifically say, one of my businesses, um, cause I, I have an advertising business that's local that it sold out this month. 
It's sold out. All my advertising space sold out this month. I'm so thankful that, you know, my, my company sold out this month that my space is sold out, you know, 32 businesses signed up this month. I'm so excited. I'm relieved. Now the next few months it's taken care of. Everything's set up. Everything's good. That's one thing. The other thing is I'm creating uh, or manifesting a thousand dollars a day. I manifest a thousand dollars a day. Another one is I matched all six numbers on the lottery. I'm a lottery winner. I have won multiple millions of dollars in the lottery. I'm a multimillionaire. Stuff like that. These are things that I talk about every day in my life. So nothing about, oh my God, I don't have any money. Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Because I've gotten to the point where there's always money. There's always money somewhere coming in from somewhere. I've had to get that going over the months or years. Anyway, just wanted to remind you, have a good self-concept around money. Check for those thoughts that are not serving you. Every single one of them matters. Every single thought matters of the unfolding of your life. Okay, guys, if you want coaching, the links are down below. I'm doing email coaching. My VIP group is opening soon and um, hopefully doing a seven day challenge very, very soon. I'll let you know. Talk to you very soon. Bye.